Uh, this has come up so many times, I'm just going to quickly go over why I use um, Eclipse when I do my coding. Okay, uh, first off, this is not a tutorial on how to get it going. This is just to show you um, how useful I find it and how useful it'll, you know, just for all of you to use something like this. Uh, a lot of the errors that have been coming up on my on my site have been due to mistypes and people are obfuscating their files and you're probably taking a long time to get your, from making your code to actually testing it out. And I just want to show you, this is how quick and easy it is. So first off, um, I have... Uh, first off, uh, you know, once you have it set up right, you can see every single Minecraft file, the Java files, they're all there. So uh, I've had a lot of requests saying, how do I get to Entity Cal? Um, well, I'll just scroll up to Entity Cal, double click, and it opens up. Okay, um, you'll also notice I can have several files open at once. Um, uh, another nice thing about this is while you have them open, if uh, one file depends on another and there's an error in one file, it'll show you errors in both. Uh, as you can see up here, if I were to jump over to my mod world file and I was looking at other stuff, uh, I can see, oh, I can't build it now because I have this uh, some errors here. You'll also notice on the side here, there's a little red light and it has, uh, you know, markers actually to tell you exactly where the errors are if you were to scroll along here. Uh, on, another thing is, uh, along with the line numbers, which you have to turn on, um, you see these little uh, X's here tell you exactly where the error is. And so if I click on this, um, oops, come back here. Sorry, if I hover over it, it tells me the method add box needs float, 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 int, 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 float. And so basically I passed it float, 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 int, double, int, float. So in other words, it needs an integer. So if I go in here and I take that away, you notice it turns to gray X, meaning I've corrected the error, but I still need to save it to get rid of that marker. Look at that. Now all the codes have corrected. Here we go. Uh, here's another one. Uh, sometimes it won't be able to tell you what it is. Um, you see here though, it, it actually finds that there is a rotate angle X with a capital X. I mistyped it. So I can actually come here and tell it to change it for me. Ma'am, fixed. Okay, next one here. Uh, pff, typo errors. You know, I personally can't spell. Eh, you know, so be it. Um, I'm left-handed too, maybe that's the cause of it. So at least it points out to me that I have a typo. Right, and when I do have it typed correct, you see it actually shows the the keywords in special color. It shows the um, what do you call them? The variables in the special color. So it actually shows you where these are. And, and uh, standard variables don't get a special color, but now I can actually tell which is the global var and which is the local var. So if I were to make a local var, it wouldn't show up. Another thing with the coloring, I can add in comments and comment out, and I can see where I'm commenting. Now looking at here, it's got another red X, and I can still see the red X on this side up here as well, so I can't build my code. If I were to try to, I click this guy here, and it will tell me, Eric's exists in the project, do you want to still proceed? No, I don't, because I want to fix it. I would like to try my project, and it won't run if there's errors. Here we go, I've left something out here. Looks like uh, insert to complete the class body. So in other words, I forgot a bracket. Closing out my project, X goes away, I save it. Now for all you people that go through all these processes to get your code up and running, I just click this little button here, Minecraft runs. And there we go, jump into my single player. And uh, of course you get to see my little tests, my uh, stat bars and number systems on there. In any case, um, that's how easy it is when you use Eclipse. So. Um, from now on, I'm going to point people who ask me questions where their code is, is messed up because they're not using any type of editor to go to Eclipse because really it saves a lot of time. Okay, thanks for listening.